Hey, what's up guys, it's Patrick here, and today I wanted to bring you like an old school sort of just Call of Duty commentary. Uh, I never do these anymore, and it, it's just kind of come out of fashion, but I wanted to make this video about advice for going to high school. I have a lot of viewers who are in that sort of age range, like 13, 14, 15, where you're going off to secondary school, high school, senior high, whatever you call it, and um, I don't know, I just thought this would be interesting. Like I said, I normally do the whole you know, top fives or, or live live videos or the podcast even. But um, I don't know. Today, I just thought I'd bring you this guy, to, to, I'd bring this to you guys because I remember when I was going into high school, I, I graduated this year with honors and, and all that stuff, going to university next year. But I remember when I got, or I was going into high school, I was so, so nervous. And honestly, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you some advice from what I've learned, from what I've seen um, and all that stuff. Now, there's three sort of sort of components of high school that I look at, and it's like the big kind of three. And those things are obviously one, your academic. And I know that's lame; you don't want to hear about that, but I will briefly mention that later. Other one is extracurricular, and the last one is of course social. Those those are the three big things that you want to do in high school. Um, now, let's start with extracurricular. So the biggest piece of advice I have for, for people going into high school, you know, I, I know it's going to be scary and you may be scared, you're maybe not going to make friends, is join an extracurricular activity, anything. It doesn't have to be like a sports team. It can if you're athletic, which would be probably preferable. But, you know, anything like, I don't know, maybe you like musical, maybe you like band, you want to learn to play an instrument, anything. It's, it's just the best thing you can do for yourself to make years, three or four years at university or at, at high school enjoyable. Um, you meet people that you share like interests with. Like for example, I did football. I met people who are, you know, obviously like to watch football, who are athletic. Uh, a lot of people who play football are gamers. So I met people like that. Um, just that kind of mentality. You meet so many people that you share interests with. You make so many friends. And that's really the biggest thing about high school is like I said, that kind of relates back into social is you make so many friends. Now I had a lot of friends going into high school that I already played football with, but then my first like three months of high school were football, football, football. So I made so many friends through it that way. And then it's like the, the rest seven months of the year, you know, these people, and at least, you know, you have some people, uh, to kind of back you up, which I remember one of my friends, um, he, uh, like he was in the same year as me going into grade 10 and uh, we play how football works is you actually start doing it before the school starts. So we did like two weeks before school started. So I made all these friends and then I went into high school already knowing people. So on the very first day, like I was sitting with like uh, like a 250 pound uh, offensive lineman. So it was like, you know, like no one's going to mess with me on my first day of school. That's good too, but like, you know, I'm saying you don't have to do sports. That's just an example for me is just meeting people, uh, you know, and just having friends that will have your back. For me, football was great, but maybe you don't, you're not athletic. Maybe you're not into that. Maybe you like, like I said, you know, like uh, musical stuff, band, uh, like chess or like there's like student council. There's so many things that I really do recommend you join because you'll meet people that you like and uh, that you will become your friends and will have your back. So that's something awesome. Uh, and it does kind of relate into the social thing, but also just kind of having that extracurricular thing will keep you busy and kind of make you learn how to have a schedule. Um, and speaking of having a schedule, that kind of relates into the whole academic thing. And I know it's so lame. No one wants to do homework, but I'm going to give you this advice and you may not want to hear it because your parents are probably going to tell you this, but I'm going to say this, just try. Okay. You don't have to get all nineties. Okay. You don't have to get all 95s. You don't have to be the best in the class. But what I see, I saw so much in high school were people that just didn't give a fuck and they had this mentality. And if you have this mentality, correct it, okay? It is this. I got an 80 and I didn't even try. I am so awesome. That is the most poisonous, just awful thing you can do to yourself uh, going into high school. Like, it's just... The real world doesn't work like that, okay? Like, let's say, for example, in YouTube. I can't say, like, oh, you know, I did this... Okay, this is my fifth take on this video, on this video, for example. I wouldn't say, like, oh, look at me. I did my take. I did this video in one take, and now I uploaded it. I did it with be by being really lazy. That's not how it works, because my first take was shit, so I had to redo it and think, th think through everything. 
Same way as the work as the world works, and the same way as you should think through high school is just try, okay? Try to get 80s, you know, try to get 90s if you want. Um, but just don't be that guy who never does his homework, never takes notes in class because it's pointless. Like you're going there, you may don't just go through the motions. You may as well at least give an effort. It doesn't have to be the best every single day because I didn't give my best every day. I get I got a friggin' 50 in chemistry 12, okay? I'm not perfect. But, you know, I tried. I did my homework. I, I paid attention in class. And you'd be amazed at how much that can help, you know. And it's just the it's smart thing to do. Um, but uh, moving on, the other thing I did kind of want to mention, you guys, is the whole party atmosphere. Uh, because although, yes, you know, doing your extracurricular activities and your um, whatever else there is, like, uh, for example, school, you also want to have uh, fun. You also want to go out and, and do things and go to parties. And I am so in favor of that. You know, go do your thing. You do parties. But my one sort of thing with that whole like drinking and alcohol thing or not dr drinking and, and weed thing is don't overdo it. Don't overdo the partying. Don't go out every like twice a twice every weekend. Don't go drinking every, you know, doing that. And the other thing like is don't get into pot, man. I'm not saying don't smoke pot. I'm actually in favor. I think it should be legal. But I'm saying don't get into it. Like you can do it like, you know, on the weekends or whatever. But I see so many people that get into it in like this huge way where it's like they do it every day and it's kind of them. Like they, oh, I smoke pot. And it's just like, it's just really dumb to be honest. It's a waste of money. Um, and I don't, I hate, I hate even saying like, oh, don't get into pot kids. But like, just don't overdo it, man. Don't don't overdo it and, and have some have other things to be proud of, like, you know, being on a team or, or having good grades and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you some advice. High school really isn't that scary. The biggest thing that will make it less scary is just joining extracurricular activities. My other two advices were just work hard and in, in, in class. Uh, oh, but the other last thing I did want to say is if you haven't picked your courses yet or maybe for next year, Pick easy courses and hard courses. Have some that have balance because if you have all hard courses, it sucks balls and you're going to hate it. So I don't know, guys. There was a random commentary about going to high school totally off the cuff. But hey, hopefully that gave you some advice. If you have any comments down below, I'd be happy to ask them or happy to answer them. And uh, have a good day. Bye, guys.